Good day and God bless. Welcome back to Verses from My Car. I am Dana. Today we're reading reflection number 30 from a little book called Dare to Journey with Henry Nguyen by Charles Rigma. And reflection 30 is called When the New Springs Up and it is in reference to Hebrews 12 verses 1 and 2. So we go to Hebrews 12, 1 and 2, and we find, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight, and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set out before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Ooh, I gotta tell you, it's a hot one today. So reflection 30, joy as sustenance for the journey. When we create space for ourselves and learn to be still and commune with God who is at work within our very being, we can begin to hear the voice that can surely guide us. While that voice may affirm the good that we are already doing, it may also call us to take on new challenges. It calls us to embrace new directions. It calls us forward and beyond ourselves. This may initially be very upsetting. It may even inspire us with fear and trepidation. It will lead us to question whether what we've heard is right. It will lead us to struggle and to face the pain of letting go of the old in order to embrace the new. Yet somewhere in the midst of this turmoil, we can come to peace of certainty. It is this peace that produces the joyful heart. The joyful heart, as Nguyen reminds us, in which something new is born. This is what sustains us as we live out the vision of the new. This fuels our new sense of calling. This encourages us to overcome difficulties that stand in our way. With new directions, there must come new enablings. With new demands, there must be new energy. With a new vision, there must be a new hope and a new grace. And nothing will empower us to move forward as much as a joyful heart that has heard the call, counted the cost, made his commitment, and embraced the new. Reluctant obedience or sheer willpower will never last a distance. Only a joyful heart can walk the long and difficult road. Whew, absolutely. And the key to a joyful heart is to live in the way of God and Jesus. That's how we're going to do this. It's certainly not easy. And if you're a Christian, you're one of the most despised people in the world right now. Just like in the times of old. But this life isn't it. Keep that in mind. The next life is much, much longer. Where do you want to spend it? So try, try, try to keep a joyful heart. If you can do that, you'll have no problem giving God the glory. If you give God the glory, He'll take care of you. So with that, we will end this with the Lord's Prayer, as always. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Whew. All right, folks, I hope you're enjoying this. Have a great day, and God bless.